guys, we're back. Have a guess where we are. The mighty Will Lords again. Yeah, I've come down this morning. <coughs> Just do another 40 hour session. Keep tackling. Keep going at this place. See if we can get into one. I've just been safe for about, about an hour now. Just literally just chilling, watching the water. I've semi put a couple of things in swim, just in case there's a couple of cars driving around, can't make the mind at where they're going. Um, but yeah, just just watching the water, see if I can see. Oh, I can see a few at middle. In the middle bar, just coming to the top of the surface. You can sort of see, sort of see a bit of activity. Nothing jumping out like, but you can sort of see that they're there. I float drone up, these are massive, I'm on peg four, Nick's on peg five, we float drone up and you can see a massive gravel bar in the middle, and there's a couple of fish, like shoals of fish, but there's one like last time we were here where there were loads in the middle, there was like 30 fish as you can see in my last photos, there's literally like 10, 10, 15 fish, but they're all in huddles just moving around, but what I've noticed is they're not moving around on the centre of the clear spot, it's all within the edges and they're like sucking it in round. So yeah, uh, a bit of recce. Just gonna just gonna keep watching. See if we can see anything and that sort of thing. But I mean it's looking good. It's not too warm, it's a bit muggy. It is due to rain tonight, about tea time-ish. Um get a bit warmer maybe tomorrow, so but no weeds, weeds up. I'll show you some more photos of weed. It's like, even when you're trying to get the fish in, I might have to rake a little spot, like a little little bit of a bar, just so I can get it in without having to fucking pull its head off, as you do. No, but, no, but yeah, but we'll see. See how we go. Bill Bear's on the way. Nice and warm. Yeah. We'll see if we can get a couple. It's looking good, I'm confident. I'm always confident. Even though we're blank. Well, I never blank. I just run out of time. And on that note, I'm gonna get set up, keep watching the water, and see what we do. Find some spots. And I thought, because I've seen them on the end of the spot coming round, my idea, this is my idea. I'm gonna take when I take the boat out. Rather than dropping it anywhere on the clear spot or just around the clear spot knowing that it's there, I'm going to drive the boat out and I'm going to also fly the drone out just so I can see that bar of gold. And then when, obviously when the boat hits the end of the clear spot in the bit of the weed, that's when I'll drop it and that's when I'll save the position. Just a bit of a bit of accurate baiting. Cut the words out, but yeah, accurate baiting. Because I know they're very, very cautious in here. So we'll see. See how we go. But no. Like I said, I'll get set up. And we'll go from there. Once I'm all set up and found some spots and all that sort of stuff, I'll show you what's what I'm doing and yeah, all that good stuff. Have a bit of a laugh, go and wind Nicky boy up. But no, yeah, I'll check in soon guys and we'll go from there. Oh, good afternoon. Bit of a late check in. Last night just chilled out, just took his time with the spots, um, didn't rush no, just enjoyed it really. Had a bit of a chat, a bit of a natter, a bit of a drink, a bit of a social. But no, it's been good, enjoyed it. I've only gone and caught one, you little beauty. Get in, 19 pound. Oh yeah, a carpish, yeah. I'm absolutely buzzing, I'm buzzing all the time I've spent putting into it, thinking about it, even when I'm at home, this, that, other complicating stuff in my head, massively. But no, I had a bit of an, an eventful night, not night, early morning. First one ripped off at half six, literally slumped into weed. As soon as it come up, boom, straight back down. So yeah, tried getting that in, uh, no joys, that snapped me off. Uh, played it for a little bit, but yeah, no joys. And then literally same spot, same rig, everything, back on the money, I've been two, three hours later, boom, ripped off again. This time, hooked into it, didn't bother trying to put too much pressure on it, just held it there, shouted Nick, Nick come up. Um, he held it, I had to fly up and get the boat. Got the boat, went out on the boat. That was eventful. 
wish I, I, I wish Nick had got some footage. It was funny, but yeah, we managed to get it in. Got it in. Just if you are going on a boat, just literally take your time. And I mean, I were out there, and I could see everyone come to corners on the swims, and you can see them obviously when you're out there. But just take your time, relax. Worst thing you can do when you're out there is rush it. You lose it. You've gone out there. All that hard work, just yeah, and you get a bit deflated. But lucky, we just took us time. We got it right. And we got the fishing. So yeah, I'll um, attach loads of photos and stuff to to um, yeah to to the video as you do. Yeah, so I'll send all them across. I'll also send I took the drone up used to like I said earlier on to find some spots. Fucking midges everywhere. Yeah, find some spots. And um so previously I've always I've always focused on finding a clear spot find a clear spot, you've got to find a clear spot. I found clear spots in the last god no last four sessions or something. This is my fifth session, I think, is on here. I found clear spots. None of them are produced, as you know. So I thought, you know, what, I'm gonna try something different. I did send one up on the end of a clear spot that, like I described earlier on. But then I, I flew the drone up and I seen little, little pockets. It looked, I don't know. You'll be able to see it by the thing anyway. But it's like a circle, and to me, it just looked more appetising. I don't know. I liked it. it. Just looked like a nice feature, and that's where the two bites have come from. You'll see it, and it's it's not a big circle at all. So it's a good job we have got the, the boat and the drone, that sort of stuff, because um, it does help massively. People say it's cheating. I don't care. It is what it is. I catch a fish. That's all I give a shit about. But yeah, that's the main thing. But yeah, I'll attack loads of photos and stuff so you can see exactly what I'm doing or what the drone footage looks like and how weedy it is, because it's fucking well bad. And I mean, everyone, well, I say everyone, there's me that's had one. And there's another guy further up, I think he's in peg seven. He's had two. Um, but look, exactly the same again. He's, we've literally been sharing the boat. He's been down, got the boat, and he said, I think he's been on for three nights. And he says, look, if you haven't got the boat, you're going to lose it. It's as simple as that. So you may as well literally hold it, hold it and keep the pressure on, get the boat, fly out, and that's the best chance I've got. Um, so yeah, it's been eventful. Going to get sorted. Um, yeah, and that's about it. It's fucking it's horrible weather, it's muggy. Muggy, humid, sweating. Warm last night, midges flying about. But no, we're happy we've caught one. Yeah, but it's a good, fat, a really good foundation to build off now. That's the main thing, it's something to build off. At least we know what we're doing is right. Like I said on the last video, Nick caught one last week last week last session um so obviously we built off that and obviously now we can keep implementing little plans and obviously go that's the key if when you are fishing a new water that you a hard water a new water any water just bear with it bear with it don't give a shit that you're blanked i don't care it's what it is i'd rather sit i'd rather spend the time to a place where i like and enjoy i mean you can park it back here swim don't need no barriers, you literally chuck all your stuff in, away we go, happy days, easy peasy. Enjoying it, you've got to enjoy it. But no, I'll, um, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill out, might nip to the shop and get some cold drinks, that sort of stuff. Because it's warm, fucking beers were like drinking a cup of tea last night. But no, I'll um, probably check back in later on before dark, see what we're doing. But yeah, winner winner chicken dinner, we got one. Some well guys, typical, the bait boat is stuck in the middle of the lake, in some weed. Just my fucking luck. So, it's gone. Get the old rowing boat and try and get it. The joys. Oof. Tell you what, should have one of these boats on every swim. Yeah, bit <laughs> bit boat stuck in the middle of the lake on some weed. Fucking nightmare. Like I said, the weeds. In fact, I'm gonna show you now, but you can see it behind me there. The weeds fucking wail. 
obviously out there we've done some wrecking with the boat and chist up so got the old uh, jacket on yeah gonna go out in this little thing called the boat not the best of boats but it'll get us out there hopefully we don't fall in see you on the other side well bit of a change of plan as you can probably see we have decided to pack up early for a change no it's a new one to me too but i don't know it's just nothing's happening it's too warm it's no <laughs> Back of my neck's on fire. It's um, it's one of them. It's just clammy and miserable, and I don't know. It just feels sticky, just uncomfortable. So we decided to pack up early. Call it a draw. But till next time. But no, I'm happy. I'm happy I got off the mark with that one fish and the take. But like I said earlier, I'm not gonna gonna keep going on. But it's nice foundations to repeat. Um, hopefully repeat again, come back. Probably not going to come back till probably September now, I would have thought. Um, gonna have, not going to bother fishing in July. It's our last birthday, so we've got to get the balance right. I don't know, probably going to do something for her birthday. See what she wants to do. Um, probably come start of August. I just don't know where to go. I don't know, might try Pobbage Frank, Q Lake. Yeah. If I can get on, I know what the venues are like, they get booked up rapids. I might try rake at Kingfisher. I don't know, but it'll be sort of a venue like that. Just more of um see if a couple of lads wanna come. Uh what's that August? Might come back here in September. Yeah, probably come back in September. We'll see what the weather's like. Like I say, the weed's mad up and it's yeah, it's like every truck you do, pulling it in. No matter, no matter where you go, what you do, you find the clear spots, even on the way in, there's just banks after banks after banks after weed. So, but that's that, that's the session. Mm, tired of the swim as you do. Always leave the swim the way you found it. So yeah, that's it guys. We had one. We caught one. Happy days. Here's everyone.